Hey guys, it's Landon Blake with Redefined Horizons, and this is the second video in a set of videos that I'm recording to show you how I set up field drawings for all of my survey projects. So, in the last video, <coughs> excuse me, in the last video we went ahead and imported our control points, and we clipped some aerials from Bing Maps to use as map backgrounds, and then we set up our three map sheets here, control map one to three. And so in this video, the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to uh, we're going to come in here and just clean these up a little bit. Uh, so one thing I want is I want to keep these higher res photos on the top, but I'm going to turn the Bing Maps background back on, and I'm going to go ahead and capture a couple of these uh, at a little lower resolution, uh, higher, uh, but a bigger footprint here. And we'll turn that off, the map, Bing Maps background, and then we'll put these new images, larger images we cropped on the right layer. And so now when we go into our maps, we've, we've got that background. It's a little lower resolution, but we've got it around the edges. So the other thing we want to do is we want to... Let's set this annotation scale to the right, uh, right annotation scale. So we're going to be at 1 to 100. First thing I want to do is get rid of all the ones we're not using. So let's go ahead and add 1 inch equals 100 feet. And we'll set that so our point labels are the correct size. And the other thing we want to do is we want to turn off our frames. Oh man, I got to remember how to do that now. I think it's map iframes. Got to remember that command. Nope, I got to Google it. Hang on. All right, Google said image frame. I guess it doesn't get much easier than that, does it? All right, so image frames are off and then we just got to come in here. We got a couple point uh, labels that are overlapping at this scale, so we just want to fix those. I think there was the only the one. Okay, so that should just about set up our map sheets there. So we'll go ahead and save that. Okay, so then uh, the next thing I want to show you guys is how I go in and set up the point tables. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to set my annotation scale to 1 to 20. And you can see I've got these tables automatically set up to drop in here. So it goes ahead and numbers them. I think it puts 10 points in a table. And that's just a point table that you insert through um, add tables. Uh, point table, and I've got a style set up. Okay, so our points are automatically dropped in there. So now if we go to the control control points sheet, we can make that viewport active. We'll zoom extents first, and we'll zoom in on our control point table. And then I use this command called align space, and I click the two corners of my point table, click the two corners of my viewport and paper space, hit enter. And run a regen. That's now the right size. So what we have left now is we've got our field survey table to fill out and we've got our control notes. So let's go ahead and we'll start with a field, field survey table. Uh, we might be able to wrap this all up in one video, one, one more video. So what I like to do here is this is just a chronological record of each of the field surveys. So I'm going to go back in here to my job. And I'm going to open my DC folder so I can see what we've got. So we went out on the 22nd. We did some control. Uh, then we did some topo again on the 24th. And then I know we had a UAV flight. So I'm going to pull this over where I can see it while I watch this with you guys. So we're going to go ahead and enter the first date of the first field survey. So this is on the 20th. Nope, 22nd, sorry. And my party chief was Randy. I'm the project surveyor. 
we did set new control. Purpose is control field survey. And I'm going to say uh, set, um, set primary site control points using fast static GNSS methods. So I'll just give it a short description. And notes on control. So we want to just go ahead and jump over here. We've got control point one to forty one. Might have locked up my cat here. I'm gonna pause the video while this thing spins on the hand. Oh, there it goes. All right. Okay, so we're gonna say set pavement nails as on site survey control. I'm gonna say as primary on site survey control. Control points were tied with 15 minutes. Fast static GNSS survey methods using uh, Trimble R10 and two Trimble 5800 GNSS receivers. Okay, so that just explains what what the heck we were doing out there. All right. I need one more row there, so let me show you what you got to do if that happens. That means I got too wordy in my description. So what we're going to do is we're going to move these. Add another row to our table then. Alright, so this one we're going to just change the layer of this line here. We can extend this down. All right, so we know what we did the first day. Then the next day I've got here is the 24th. So this was again, was Randy. Uh, we did not set new control points this day. And this was a topo survey. And what exactly did we do on our topo survey? So we're going to say survey of surface utility features using primary survey control already set on site. And notes on control, we're going to say no new control points set during this field survey and we'll move this text up okay so essentially I went out there I set control then we went out and we did some infill topo and I know we had another day of utility surveys out there so I'm gonna copy this down I shouldn't have this much to do I'm a little behind on my field, get my field drawing set up, but we're just going to copy this down. And I know we were back out there the next day to do some more utility surveys. Okay. And all right. So I've been out to do some other things. Uh, we did a UAV flight. I don't usually put that in here. Uh, we have certified pilots that do that separately from our party chiefs. Um, so I won't, I won't add that to the table. 
Uh, but I know I'm coming out. We're going to um, finish the utility feature survey. We're also going to scan some buildings so we can get some accurate building footprints. And we're going to do some boundary, uh, search for some property corner monuments, do, do some boundary survey. And so I'll probably have two, maybe three more entries here into the field survey table. But now if you come over here to the field survey table layout, we can make that viewport active. And oops, it's locked. So we'll unlock it. And we're going to do the same thing here. We're going to zoom in on our field survey table. And I'm going to do my run my align space command, click the corners of my table and model space, click the corners of my viewport in paper space, hit enter, do my regen. So now we've got our field survey table set up here. These gray lines, text align layers don't plot. So that'll look nice when it's, when it's ready to go, ready to plot. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and leave this. Uh, field survey table two tab here. Um, normally, if the field work was done, I would delete this, but we, I may spill over and have a second table. So that's fine. I'm going to leave it for now. So the only thing we have left now is a, a control notes table. Uh, I'm, I'm a little over 10 minutes, about 12 minutes. I like to keep these videos to 10 minutes if I can. So um, we'll go ahead and we'll do one more video in this set, and we will show you how we pull some data out of Trimble Business Center and set up our control note sheet, and then uh, we'll probably just run a sample sample set of the PDF plots for these so you can see what you guys see what they look like. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Appreciate it, and hopefully we'll, we'll uh, catch you on the third video in this set. Thanks.